Hello everyone, Jim Park here, your mortgage and real estate pro. Hope you guys are doing well. Thought I'd stop by and give my weekly status report on the current market conditions in regards to housing and mortgage interest rates. So here we are in Florida and the market is just on fire and I believe it's just going to get bigger and bigger in terms of uh, housing needs. Because think about this for a second. You have all these major companies and corporations coming in from New York, Manhattan, California, and other parts of the state. Because here you have a state that has zero state income tax, it's pro-business, low regulation, so what better place to start and really grow your business, whether you're a small operation or a major corporation. So this is the time right now, if ever, for you to really consider investing in a primary residence here or a rental property, because housing is gonna be in, in a big demand. I mean, imagine 20 years ago, if you had bought few houses in Silicon Valley, right? San Jose, Palo Alto, right before the tech boom. Imagine the investment you would have right now. I believe that this, especially South Florida, is the next tech boom and where all the technology companies are gonna to start to migrate here. So now's the time right now, really right now, okay? To seriously consider investing in real estate here in Florida, especially South Florida. But this amazing state has so many different options, whether it's Tallahassee, Jacksonville, South Florida. There's so many different options. So I'm excited to give you guys specific data on where I see is the hot opportunity in terms of where I see, you know, most people putting their money in where you can get in low and possibly sell high. Okay, so make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon so you don't miss my updates. All right. So I'm going to go over a few numbers right now and uh, kind of give you what I think is going to be the best opportunity moving forward in the next 30 to, to 90 days. All right. So I hope you enjoy and we'll chat soon. All right. So here's the latest data here at the end of Q4 2020. As you can see, the number of sales is just on a major upswing and sales in Boca rose sharply year over year. Coral Gables. Look at that upswing sales in Coral Gables sharply higher year over year. You have uh, Delray beat same thing single family uh, listing inventory fell so inventory is dropping. Single family listing inventory Fort Lauderdale dropping. So these these properties here in Florida are just being gobbled up as we speak. The inventory is dropping. The uh, the sales are increasing. Pretty much throughout the entire state and it's only going to be accelerated as time goes by here it says the real estate market is booming in south florida and pretty much all of florida you know florida attracts more northerners and you see the migration just happening right now pretty aggressively And it's, 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 I believe, a movement that is only just going to accelerate. We've seen unprecedented demand from all over the country, but certainly New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, and you even have uh, California residents moving out of here because Florida residents pay no state or the state tax and receive a homestead exemption up to 50000 on primary residents and a 3% annual cap on home assessments. I mean, incentives like that, compared to states like Florida, I mean, uh, New York, California, and all the uh, high tax states, it, it's a no brainer. And then this article I showed you earlier, you know, forget about San Francisco and Silicon Valley, Miami is planning on becoming the next great tech hub. I mean, there's so many, big co corporations moving into Florida that now's the time. Now's the time to, to really consider investing in a piece of property out here or getting some investment property to make sure that you have an opportunity to, to really take advantage of this growth that we're seeing right here. Okay, so the solution to the housing shortage and multiple offers on resale is new construction. 
Okay, so new construction right now in South Florida is really starting to grow at a rapid pace. And as you can see, these homes are ready to move in right now. No need to haggle with the seller, multiple offers, and having to uh, bid up these prices because these new home development right now is ready to move in. And if you're not ready to move in now, then you could place an order and then when it's done building in say a few months, you'll have the keys and ready to move in. So this strategy of focusing on new development and new construction is the best way to go in a market like this where inventory on resale is very, very tight. So this is a kind of strategies and properties that I can help you with as you look for properties here in Florida and not have to worry about competing. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that real estate data and uh, the market conditions where I see growth about to happen in a, in a bigger scale. Now, let's talk about mortgage rates. As you know, mortgage rates at historic lows, but not all loans are created equal. Okay, so I'm gonna go over some different programs, different options that I think would be the best uh, method to finance some of these properties and whether you're paying cash or whether you're leveraging, uh, these are some strategies that I know will help you really grow your portfolio. Okay, so check these out. Okay, so now that I've gone over the current market conditions here in Florida, along with how to avoid the co constant shortage of inventory by purchasing a new home, now let's look at the rates. The rates are extremely, extremely low as of today. February 1st, 2021. Here you have a 15 year fix at a rate of 1.75, APR of 1.907. And then if you go to a 30 year fix, it's only a 2.5% with an APR of 2.529. So with the rates being this low, along with the opportunity to purchase a property right now, now is the time more than ever to take advantage of this and move forward with your investment here in Florida. Well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the content and got a lot of value out of it. And I'm really excited to continue to make these videos and give you the key information. You know, it's all about data, information, and knowledge is power, right? So make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it, and don't forget to click the little icon so that you don't miss out on this content. All right, so to get in touch with me, there's a link below. So go ahead and schedule a 30-minute free consultation. I'd love to help you out and answer any questions you may have. And there's also a link to join our Facebook group. All right, so if you have any questions, please reach out. But until then, we'll talk to you soon.